I grew up in the north and in the south, so we had neighbors when I was a kid you know, that listened to television evangelists and stuff like that. And the country was, you know, it's always been a bit divided, but not as divided as it is now. So I grew up in an atmosphere where I loved my neighbors and we were all very good friends and tight, but they were just on the right and we were, I was, I grew up in a liberal family. So to me, it's, it was easier to enter the character of Jerry Falwell with an open mind, even though when it comes right down to it, I don't agree with anything that he was for and anything he ever said. But, you know, to service the script, you have to come in with an open mind, otherwise you're going to miss very specific things. So you try to keep an open mind and service the story the best you can. Do just the research, and I had to get his, his he had a particular way of, uh, he had a Virginian accent, but he had a very particular accent. He over-enunciated words, and, and so I had to get his posture down and stuff like that, the usual kind of stuff, but yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It's, it, it's really fun because you get to do a lot of work and and then you get to, you know, bring them alive or your version of that person alive. And, and I was in such good company with Jessica and Andrew. I mean, the scenes, all of our scenes were together. And when you work with two actors like that, it's just, it makes it so easy. Well, I, I think what she does is that she, she gives the character humility. And that's something that people aren't used to. They, they, we only remember Tammy Faye when they've made fun of her on the front of the newspaper or on SNL, you know, but, but she, there's much more to that woman than, than that, you know. And Jessica brings all of that humility to the, to the character and to the story.